Welcome to this quick briefing on using DataZoa with the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Statistics website. I'm here on the site. I'll click on Agencies by State, Single Agency Reporting Crime. I'll select Arizona. and all types of crime there. Tucson Police Department. I have my good friend the DZ dot. Drag the first link up to my Dezo account, which is open in a separate tab. Drop that link on the hunting scope. And there's my data. Now, I want to work with this data a little bit, so I'm going to move it over to grab this blue drag handle, drop it onto a fresh tab. There it is. And I also want to do a calculation. Um, so I'm going to do, I, I want to look at the burglaries per thousand population. I want to add that to my table here. So I'll do that really quickly. Click on the gear menu, click on the little flask and there is there are the different variables v1 is population v8 is burglaries so I'll just create my new series real quickly here and the formula is pretty simple V8 divided by V1 divided by a thousand. I'll test that. 9.44 is the latest value. Add that to the data block. One thing that's kind of fun about DSO data blocks is we can page them back in time go all the way to the beginning of the, the available data, 1985, or page back to the most recent values. We can also enter a date to go for, to a particular year. And there's my burglaries per thousand population statistic. And I think I'd like to make a little chart of that. So I'll click on the gear menu again Click on the chart icon. And there's a, a model here which enables me to gather a collection of series. I just want to focus on one, so I'll drag that that burglary per thousand population to the top. And I'll drag this one down below the movable divider. So everything above the divider will get charted. And in this case, um, I just have one series, burglaries per thousand population, and I'll make a chart. Looks like the Tucson Police Department has been doing a good job. So I'm going to um, add that chart to this tab. One click. And there's my chart. Now, I can do some things with this chart. For example, I could click on the gear menu send it to a colleague via SMS. I'll put it in colleague's phone number. And send. And my colleague can now open that chart on his smartphone, save it to his home screen, and have it available anytime he wants. And this data, of course, will update automatically as new data is posted by the FBI. So that's kind of fun. Right? There are many more things you can do with data. So you can have a wide variety of calculations. We have over 300 mathematical functions in our compute cloud to transform your data. You can upload your own data and mix it with data you, you pull from other external sources. So, and you can share these tabs. You can share your work with others at the data series level or at the visual level as well. Thank you so much for your time.